What is up, Budget Billers? My name is Trail, and on Thursday, it was looking like we were on the verge of having a stimulus deal on the table to meet the Friday deadline that was set by Senator Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Several senators were speaking to reporters, commenting on how great progress was being made throughout this entire week. And then Manchin and Bernie Sanders had been meeting every day to negotiate the stimulus deal. But late Thursday night, a story broke loose that Sanders and Manchin got into some type of heated argument where Manchin threatened the Democrats as if he's not a part of them at all, that he would just agree to zero dollars for the reconciliation bill. But then something happened or something was said in that meeting on Thursday that caused Joe Manchin to flip a 180 on everything that was happening this week. We also received more information on that story related to Manchin planning on leaving the Democratic Party and signing up to be an independent. I'm not sure I believe it or not, but you can be the judge of that. We also have information on the changes to the three and a half trillion dollar reconciliation bill. They have been slicing these social provisions out of this bill left and right, which makes it sad. And all of this is because Senator Joe Manchin and partially because Senator Christine Sinema. Now, those are just some of the topics that we are going to cover today. If you are interested in any of those, I would appreciate it if you could just like this video. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay guys, former President Donald Trump announced yesterday that his social media network is going to be called Truth Social. Trump has just announced his new social media network called Truth Social. Trump said that he created Truth Social and TMTG to stand up to the tyranny of big tech. We live in a world where the Taliban has a huge presence on Twitter, yet your favorite American president has been silent. This is unacceptable that Trump said in his release. He said, I am excited to send out my first truth on Truth Social very soon. TMTG was founded with a mission to give a voice to all. I'm excited to soon begin sharing my thoughts on Truth Social and to fight back against big tech. Everyone asks me, why doesn't someone stand up to big tech? Well, we will be very soon. Now, this new social network of his is tied to a company on the stock exchange, and that symbol is DWAC. Because of this announcement, this stock ended up skyrocketing more than 130% and had 260 million shares traded by midday. Now, the stock was only $10 yesterday before the Trump announcement. I received a tweet around 8.50 Central Time, and I ended up buying 10 shares at $13.28. Well, that stock had more than doubled by 11 a.m. to about $26 per share. And then the stock hit $47 by 1 p.m. And the stock ended up closing on the day on Thursday at $46. But wait, guys, there's more. This stock kept running in the aftermarket and hit a stunning $74. Can you guys believe that? This was a monster trade and I do expect the price to hit at least $100 today. Now for those Trump lovers or anyone wanting to get in on this Trump rally, you can purchase it with any stock brokerage account. Just go ahead and type in the symbol DWAC. Also, there are a few links down below to get Robinhood or either Webull if you need to sign up for one of those and purchase this stock if you are interested. Interested. Now, a new report was just released regarding COVID-19. This article right here says that unvaccinated people should expect to catch COVID-19 every 16 months. Really? Now you tell us? So a new study by the Yale School of Public Health has analyzed data on natural immunity to estimate how often unvaccinated individuals can expect to become reinfected with COVID-19. The overall goal of the study was to provide an answer to a question that at this point in the pandemic would be impossible to answer empirically, which is how long have you been infected with SARS-CoV-2? Can you expect to possess immunity against the virus before you become vulnerable to reinfection? Now, the study determined that natural immunity is somewhat short and in a model where everyone has either been infected with COVID-19 or vaccinated against it, 
Those who are unvaccinated can expect to be reinfected with the coronavirus roughly every 16 to 17 months. Now, our results are based on average times of wanting immunity across multiple infected individuals. Any one of those individuals may experience longer or shorter durations of immunity depending on immunity status, cross immunity, age, and multiple other factors, according to the latest data from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. Only 57.1% of the U.S. population is fully vaccinated against the coronavirus. Progressives have been getting very close to a deal since President Biden met with progressive lawmakers on Tuesday. Everyone was feeling pretty confident that a budget deal could be done sometime today. Now, even Joe Manchin and Bernie Sanders were having great discussions about the stimulus bill and that they were willing to work with each other to come to a common ground. And then... We had a little bit of a hiccup on Wednesday as a report was released that Joe Manchin was ready to leave the Democratic Party and to become an independent. Well, we finally received word from Joe Manchin on Thursday, and he insisted that he hasn't threatened to leave the Democrats. Manchin had an exclusive interview with The Hill, and he said he has no plans to leave the Democratic Party and has not threatened to do so. Now, what he reported is simply untrue, Manchin told The Hill in response to questions about the story in Mother Jones this week that said he was considering leaving the Democratic Party if President Biden and Senate Democrats did not agree to slash the social spending bill from $3.5 trillion to $1.75 trillion. I'm not threatening to leave. Why would I? I'm very secure in my positions and honestly, I'm not the one stressed out, said Manchin. Manchin said he has told President Biden and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and his caucus that it would help them publicly for him to become an independent who still caucuses with the party as they face pressure from activists to craft a bill as large as possible. He was willing to do so. Now, he said what is true is that I have told the president and Chuck Schumer and even the whole caucus that if it is embarrassing to them to have a moderate centrist Democrat in the mix and if it would help them publicly, I would become an independent like Bernie. And then they could explain some of this to the public saying it's complicated to corral these two independents, Bernie and himself. Manchin categorized his offer as an effort that would help Biden and Schumer better explain the different perspectives in their caucus to Democrats. Now, all the while, Democrats have become under pressure about slashing provisions in the social spending plan. Here is a list of the things that have agreed to be cut out or changed in the current bill in order to reduce the amount and to receive 50 votes in order for it to pass. So yes, right here, they have decided to cut the price target down to only $1.9 trillion. They have removed the free community college. They are also reducing the extension of the child tax credit from extending it through 2025 to only now extending it for one year. They are also going to reduce the paid family leave provision that was initially set for 12 weeks to only be four weeks now, which I might add that the United States has the lowest amount of paid family leave out of all countries. And they still say that this is the best country to live in, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, guys. And they are removing the clean energy program from the bill. So yeah, guys, removing several provisions in this bill that would benefit the American people. They have also removed electric buses as well as Medicare benefits for dental, hearing, and vision. And these are just to name a few. So yeah, President Biden has been forced to cut the bill by almost 60% in order to meet the requirements of people like Joe Manchin and other centrists. This is not what the Democrats who are in control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency were expecting to get from this fourth stimulus bill or this reconciliation bill. But it is the reality at this time, and they are still trying to make it happen today, hopefully. However, there was a huge disagreement with Bernie Sanders and Joe Manchin on Thursday. Something transpired, which we don't know yet what that was, but something happened in which it turned into a heated argument or a disagreement. Joe Manchin ended up threatening the Democrats as a result. Wow, guys, Manchin threatened zero spending in a blow up with Bernie Sanders, according to reports.
Senator Joe Manchin and Bernie Sanders got into an argument on Wednesday in which Joe Manchin said he was willing to let go of all of President Biden's social spending plan, according to an Axios report that has been corroborated by multiple other senators who witnessed the actual issue. Fellow Democratic Senator John Tester and Chris Coons, both of whom serve on the Senate Appropriations Committee and were both in the room when it all happened. According to Tester, Sanders said, Joe said, I'm comfortable with nothing. We need to do three and a half trillion dollars. The truth is, both of them are in different spots, Tester said of his two colleagues. Manchin apparently confirmed this saying, I'm comfortable with zero and forming a zero with his fingers, according to Tester. Tester told Axios that he believes that Manchin, when he says he is fine with none of Biden's multi-trillion dollar social spending plan being passed. Now, Coons described the verbal issue with both of them as far as a 10 minute discussion. According to Coons, Manchin said we shouldn't do it at all when speaking of the social spending plan. Now, Manchin fired back and said this will contribute to inflation. We've already passed the American Rescue Plan. We should just pass the infrastructure bill. And, you know, pause for six months, according to the Delaware senator. The Hill has reached out to Sanders and Manchin's office for a comment on the argument, but no one has responded as of yet. But Sanders and Manchin represent two vastly opposing sides of the Democratic Party, with the apparent divide being blamed for stalling bills considered key to Biden's agenda. The two senators, who are both members of the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer's leadership team, have butted heads multiple times as negotiations on the spending bill have continued. So I am assuming that this bill will not get done today unless these two knuckleheads are able to make up this morning. I sure hope so, guys, because I am tired of this thing being dragged out for so long. Just go ahead and sign the damn bill, Joe Manchin. But also, guys, Christine Cinema has decided to play ball as well. She is now saying that she is ready to get a deal done as well. One of the head of the powerful House Ways and Means Committee said Thursday that Senator Christine Cinema, one of the centrists that's holding out resistance to President Biden's sweeping agenda is ready to get a deal done. Can you believe it? Well, Representative Richard Neal said he spoke with Cinema for roughly 30 to 40 minutes on Thursday morning in an effort to break the impasse over Biden's massive social benefits package. According to Neal, Cinema indicated that a failure to pass the president's top agenda item is not an option. Well, that's clear to hear. Neal told the reporters that he started the conversation with I said, Christine, this has got to pass. She said, I couldn't agree more. Well, Cinema has balked at several of the revenue raising provisions designed to help cover the full cost of the social spending bill, which includes a broad expansion of health care benefits, safety net programs, efforts to combat climate change. So her opposition has infuriated liberals on and off of Capitol Hill who are accusing her of coddling corporations and other well-heeled interests at the expense of her own constituents. Now, negotiators are eyeing a package in the range of $2 trillion, down from the initial $3.5 trillion that was favored by Biden and the House Democrats. But Cinema has reportedly rejected several of the major offset provisions, including proposed tax hikes on corporations and wealthy individuals. So yeah, guys, this is just some crazy news and a turn of events that have happened on Thursday. We don't know exactly what's going to happen this morning on Friday. Was that all just a show on Thursday or, or what was it? Manchin is literally causing the Democrats to look confused as ever and not supporting of one another. I am sure the Republicans are just sitting back and laughing at all of this craziness. But we will just see what all happens today in Washington, whether Joe Manchin is is going to keep his threat and vote for zero funding for this social spending bill? Or will he continue to try and offer something for the American people to get this reconciliation bill done today to meet that deadline from Senator Chuck Schumer? But let me know what you guys think about this and what you think is going to happen today. It seems a little bit erratic for Joe Manchin to be acting like this if you ask me. But if you enjoyed this type of content and you want to see more, go ahead and 
and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free, guys. And if you enjoyed this video or my jokes, go ahead and hit the like button for us. It definitely helps out a lot. It also tells YouTube to share this video with others. Anyways, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.